The first step is to download the LTS version of Node.js from this website. After it gets downloaded, we have to open the command prompt for Windows and terminal in the Mac OS and type in this particular command. Remember to add sudo in front of the command for Mac users. After that, we move on to the third step that is initializing the project by writing expo in it and the name of the project. I have used first app as the name of the project. You can use any name that you want. In step four, you have to select the blank template and it automatically downloads all the dependencies required for app development. For step five, you have to go inside the project by writing CD and the name of the project. After that, we have to start our expo by writing npm start. It will take some time depending upon your computer speed to generate this particular QR code and we want this QR code for the output. Now for seeing the output here on my phone, I am installing Expo Go. It is present on the App Store as well as on Play Store for Android users. After installation comes our last step and in that I'm going to open my phone camera and directly going to scan the QR code available. So if you're using an Android phone, you can open the Expo Go app and in there, there will be an option to scan the QR code. But for iPhone, you can directly use your phone's camera for scanning. Now you can go ahead and use any one of your favorite editors. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code for editing. and the output changes automatically as you make the changes in the editor.